Um, I want to get this screen fixed. So I'm currently at McDonald's because like I'm hungry and I have food at home that I'm gonna eat that too later on. But like a grandma McFlurry, what is that supposed to be? vlog okay so today i have to go to the bank and i'm gonna put some cash in my bank secondly i'm gonna go to the mall there's this place that fixes phone oh my god i almost left daniel's phone here i have to go get that one of the points of me going to this mall is to get daniel's phone fixed and i'm literally about to leave his phone here that's crazy so i have to do that and then I gotta go to the store, probably Safeway, cause that's the only place I know best to get flowers because I'm gonna put them on my grandfather's grave. So if you're new to my channel, my name is Maddie. I should have said this in the first place, but my name is Maddie, Madeline, actually, my name is Madeline. I'm, well, I have frequently asked questions in the description of this video. So any question that, I feel like common questions like my age, location, which obviously I'm not going to say where my house is at, but like <clears throat> Maryland, that's all I'm going to say. Um, and then like the size of my ears is one inch, but like I have fact, frequently asked questions in the description. to get this screen fixed is that other guy here the with the oh i forgot what he looks like i think he's like bald. yeah I, i've been coming here for like 
because my boyfriend always breaks his phone, so like I always see him here. Yeah, that's all. <laughs> um, I don't think it's gonna turn on because I think it's dead. Oh, it did. Yeah, the screen is messed up. Okay, I think it's like a galaxy. Actually, I don't know, some kind of galaxy. Okay, so I'm done at the mall. I didn't get Daniel's phone fixed because they didn't have the screen for it there, so they had to order it. So basically I paid for half and then now they're gonna order it and then they're gonna call me when it comes in so I can bring the phone and then get it fixed. I was going to go and get some flowers for my grandfather's spot. However, um, I might just wake up and do it tomorrow because I'm redoing my sleeping schedule and usually by gradually every day waking up an hour or two earlier what was that saying? I'm, I'm just trying to I forgot what I was what I was trying to say is by this is how I'm doing it I'm gradually getting up a couple hours an hour or two earlier so I can eventually start waking up at like 6 a.m. again so I got this done and then like there's stuff I have to do at home so I'm probably just gonna like I think I might just uh, well I guess I'm just gonna go home and then um, I'll probably come out and do the flower situation tomorrow but today I'm supposed to be doing um, back and biceps at the gym I'm gonna try to record that um, hopefully Daniel comes with me he can record a little bit but otherwise I'm gonna have to try to do it, record myself, it's really hard. So I'm currently at McDonald's because like I'm hungry and I have food at home that I'm, I'm gonna eat that too later on, but like, so yeah, I'm in the drive-thru at McDonald's. I'm getting a 10-piece nugget, a 10-piece nugget, that is three dollars because it's like a deal and then i'm getting a hot and spicy mcchicken because i love i love the nut i love nuggets and mcchicken but see i don't eat out all the time though and i didn't get a drink because i have my water Treat yourself to a Grandma McFlurry. What? A Grandma McFlurry? What is that supposed to be? Yeah. BD85. BD85. Yeah. Thank you. You gonna suck on my shirt, Chad? Mm -hmm. I was like, are you gonna suck on my shirt, <laughs> Chad? Fifty-something years old. I'm like, Nate, hey, you don't pop things with emojis, man. What the hell? <laughs> he said, I got one truck, and then sent me the face with the, with the. Oh my god, Maddie. Oh, I'm surprised this one open. Oh, I almost forgot about you. Are you recording your workouts? Um, I was going just a little bit. 
just trying to make sure to be respectful of all the other people on the gym. Oh, yeah, of course. I always make sure. I usually don't if somebody's around. Oh. Like I know you want. She said it if I was leaving to the love. It was all when it was just the Today in this video, I'm going to be dyeing my hair. I have a playlist called hair dyeing videos where I've always recorded myself every... I think just about every time almost that I've dyed my hair. So like I used to dye my hair red. I had my hair red for a long time. So I'm just giving you like a backstory if you're new. But then I professionally got my hair changed to brown because I wanted to try brown before I went to black. And if I seem a little bit awkward, it's because I'm drinking an energy drink on an empty stomach. I know that's horrible, but anyways, whatever. I like just woke up too. Okay, I changed the angle because it was kind of dark. So today is me and my boyfriend's 11 year anniversary together. It's June 29th. And um, he's at work. He did have to work, but we're supposed to do something later today. But for right now, I'm going to dye my hair. I have one, two, three, four. I have five of these. So if you watch my old videos, I always got this in magenta and red and I would mix them and that's what I would do for my red hair. And this, it probably has bleach in it because it does have ammonia in it, I think. I'm not a hairstylist, but all I know is like I would dye my hair red and I didn't have to bleach it. Because you can put this on your natural like hair and it'll just be this color so so i got um a hair dyeing shirt on this is from the last time but yeah i got five of those this is the developer i used well last time i got 30 again i'm not professional but i feel like the 30 helps the color really stick to my hair even though like when I just literally put the black on a couple months ago, like about three months ago, I feel like it washed out pretty fast. Well, it stuck to my ends, but um, it rinsed out like around here. Like my hair obviously looks, this is my natural, I have like a light brown hair color. My hair color is actually like a light brown. Everyone thinks it's dark, but it's not. Or maybe just around my face. I always have these lighter colored brown pieces but anyway i got a mixing bowl and a brush this one is from last time i had one extra i always buy five and then i always have i always end up with one left and i'm like okay next time i won't need that many but then i always get the same amount because i get scared that i might need it and then i picked up uh, a leave-in that it's a 10 because i ran out and i actually never tried the purple one 
So usually I just get the blue one with the orange cap, I think. Or maybe the pink cap. I don't know. But yeah, I wanted to try this one. And then I got a 10 pack of gloves, size small. And um, dang, I really wanted the pack of gloves that has like a hundred in it. Cause that's so helpful when I'm trying to like stop and like restart, if you know what I mean. Like if I need to move my camera or like answer my phone or something. But I'm gonna mix everything up and get ready to start. Also, I have a bunch of hair ties. I use these for like sectioning my hair, which I actually need to like section it, tie the other parts up, and I gotta finish getting ready so I can start. So I'll be right back.
more time cause you dropped it on a Tuesday. I had the popcorn popping and made them all day. So many dinners involved in what you do, mate. So I'm done drying my hair. I really just want to put on like mascara, eyeliner, but I'm not really sure what we're about to do since the plans like really got changed. I know we're supposed to go to the movie because I want to see Inside Out 2, but now I'm not sure what the heck we're going to do. It's getting like later and we're like old people and it's like 6 o'clock now and like I'm not, I keep saying like, I'm not done getting ready. And I'm not really sure what to wear. Like, I know we're gonna go to the movies, so, like, I kind of want to just comfortably. But then, like, I don't know where we're gonna eat at. I mean, I would be fine with just coming back home, honestly, because I just started my... I just started my period yesterday, so, like, for some reason, it's crazy, but I swear I'm, like, the most motivated. I mean, once I get through the first day of my period, which is, like, awful, painful, once I get past that, I get really motivated and really productive. What was my point? I don't even know. I don't even know what my point was. Oh, I feel like I'm always on my period when I'm vlogging. Like I'm always saying that.